All right, guys, I want to try a little experiment here. So follow along and get ready to be amazed because we are going to learn something. So I've been doing videos of these Japanese maple seedlings behind me and you guys have been following along for over a year now since we first picked those seeds, actually a year and a half since they came off the tree. And I've been showing those videos over and over and I keep mentioning that the reason the leaves aren't deep red is because they're in shade. They're in 50% shade inside this hoop house. And anytime you have a red leaf maple that is in deep shade, the leaves will turn a little bit green. Like I said, I've got a blood good out there on the property and every year it's got a little bit of shade on the back side of it and so the leaves on that side just get a tinge of green to them and so I'm gonna try something I'm gonna put some of these guys out into the wood chip garden where there's full Sun all day long and see if it doesn't turn the leaves red all right guys so you've seen them before here's our maples and as you can see the leaves are red the new leaves that come out on the very top are always a little bit more red uh, when they first come up and then as they get down lower here they turn a little bit green as you can see it's because they're in deep shade we've got the 50 percent shade of the hoop house and then we've also got these top leaves up here shading out the lower leaves and so they will turn a little bit green but you can see where they're at right now let's take a few of these out in fact let's pick uh I'll just pick a few and we'll put them out in that wood chip garden and we're going to give it some time and see how red the new growth starts coming out. All right guys, so here they are. I've got three of them sitting out in the wood chip garden and I think I've picked some pretty good specimens. As you can see, some of the new top growth is, you know, a little bit more of a red color, about as red as it's going to get in that shady environment. And then down below we've got some green leaves. So you can see that, you know, this this particular, these ones right here can actually get that redness and they've got the green from the shade. So I'm trying to pick a well-rounded specimen here to do this experiment with, but we're going to watch this for a few weeks, see how it goes, and I'll show you guys exactly what happens in the end here. All right guys, so it's been about a week and a half since I put these out and pulled them out of the hoop house and put them out here in the wood chip garden so that we could see what the sun's effect on these Japanese maples would be. And you can see they're already turning red. I mean, they're just about as red as they're going to possibly be and absolutely beautiful. In fact, I probably should bring all the rest of my Japanese maples out here. And this is the real money shot. I love this look. Red leaf Japanese maples look so beautiful from the back side when the sun's shining through them. Imagine that in your landscape. Look at that red color. Imagine that in your landscape when this thing is mature and it's standing up tall and the sun's on one side of it beaten down and you're standing on the other side of it and you can see all that red, that beautiful red color just shining through. Now, let's go compare these guys to the Japanese maples we've had in the deep shade in the hoop house for the last week and a half. All right, guys, here it is. And do you see the difference in color? It's subtle, but it's definitely there. Look at that. These three right here are the three that we just had outside. And look at the red colors. It's only been a week and a half, and they're already starting to redden up. I mean, if I go a couple more weeks, I'll bet they get even more red. But it just goes to show you. I mean, look at them compared to the ones behind here. Look at that. These guys still have a lot of green on them. You can see they're red, the red leaf maples, but they're in deep shade. So they've got some green in there. Some of them got even more green than others, but you can see that kind of greener look because they're in the deep shade there. But these were all the same maples here. These red ones are the same ones as these, same seedlings. And you saw I kind of took a, a general sample here. I grabbed them randomly out of there so that I'd have you know, I wasn't trying to pick the reddest ones here to put out there. I was trying to make a real point. And so a week and a half, look at what the sun does to those. So you really want to get them planted out in full sun or at least 75% sun. These have been in full sun now. And look what they're doing. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Look at that red color. And look at it compared to the other Japanese maples in the background in the deep shade. I just, you know, it just goes to show you really need to have these guys in full sun. And if you don't, they will redden up in full sun. All right, look at that. I've put them back in their rightful spots, the little holes that I pulled them out of throughout there. And you can see against the, the other maples that have been in shade, these guys are just more red. I mean, look at that compared to the green. You can see them stand out in the crowd there. It just, man, it's just so cool. You can see those pots, the ones that are a little more dry that have been out in the sun. 
Those guys are just more red. So does that help you guys out a little bit? I want to prove this to myself, and I kind of had a feeling it was going to work this way, and I'm really glad it did. So what I'm going to do in the future here, or for the rest of the summer, is leave all of those. I put them back where they belong. I'm going to leave all these guys in the shady hoop house. Why, you might ask? Because I don't necessarily need them in the sun right now. I'm not going to sell them. They're just growing right now. They're putting on growth for sale later on. And so the goal is in the shady environment to get lots of new growth to come straight up and just really put on a lot of nice growth so they get big quickly. And then next winter, we'll put them all out in bigger pots in the full sun and watch them just turn brilliant red. And then we'll have a nice, beautiful, saleable plant. So I hope you guys got something out of this. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit the like button. Please subscribe if you want to learn all kinds of more awesome things and facts and see experiments about gardening and plants and plant propagation. So, until the next video, guys, have an awesome week, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios!